Yeah, and we're now getting a look at who police say did it. That hate left behind now gone. People showed up to make sure the message of love was bigger and brighter than what was written. The cleanup so important to everyone here, ridding this entire area of the hate that showed up in the form of swastikas, racial slurs, and anti-Semitic words. I'm hoping that those that don't agree with this type of rhetoric and offensive babble will continue to stand against racism. And they are seeing the coverage. I was um, at a store and the breaking news came across. <laughs> And showing up emotionally distraught. Different political views, same stance on hate. And I want the Oklahomans to know, and I want the world to know, we stand against this. This has got to stop. Police also found a letter and picture of former President Obama. That too had graffiti. It's disturbing and it's upsetting and, and incredibly disheartening that this is where we are. And everybody's concerned about it and so we'll we'll take security precautions. And this wasn't the only report. The Chickasaw Nation victims too. But standing tall, they offer a message brighter than those spray painted. Their governor saying this, we believe it's important to move past the isolated incident and focus our attention on the important work we do. In the end, love and unity erasing the hate. Education um, and unity. And that message of love went up shortly after the cleanup. And I can tell you this is being investigated as a hate crime. As for that woman, police are hoping the public can help them identify her.